right, Daddy's going to be going on a fishing trip soon, right? Okay, can you say good luck, Daddy? Hope good you, luck, Daddy. Hope you catch some fish. Hope you can catch some fish. Okay. Can I kiss? To explain the setup i've got my 10 foot syndicate um three weight and then as always the lamps and liquid four uh five the mono rig that i've uh you know already created it's held up for quite some time i think i've used it for a little over a year i'm probably due for creating a new one um and off of that i don't have that much um tippet today just because of how these smaller streams like this is a I would say it's a mid-sized stream but um you know i know that it's not that deep it's up to my knees right now so it's probably about two and a half feet deep i've got to my first fly about two and a half feet of tippet and then below that an additional 12 inches lower i've got uh, my second nymph and what i'm using right now is the lively legs double trouble so you can get a look at that it's got the legs on it plus the you know kind of almost like pat's rubber so it's got the two little bits of rubber legs and then on top i tied uh, a france fly so that's kind of new to my arsenal. Um, we're going to see how that does today. But anyway, it's just got a little, you know, silver bead, um, kind of like vinyl ribbing or V-rib, I should say. And then on top of that, uh, right around the thorax, I've got uh, just some peacock dubbing. So anyway, we're going to give these flies a shot. We've already got one. We're going to fish this out. We're going to fish another small stream. We're going to see how it goes. Whoop. All right, so this is one of my first wild trout out of this section of the stream. I've only fished it twice before and never for any good length of time. But um, this uh, wild brownie took the double trouble, barbless hook, gorgeous little fish. And we're going to get him back. Cool. So I knew that this was a class A. I knew that it would likely hold you know a good number of trout hence why it's class a but um again not really having fished this with much success the water's a little high but everything in central pa is a little high i mean they've gotten a ton of rain this week so we're just trying to hit some of the softer spots of current and see where these fish might be holding um you know that guy was sitting up in a softer pocket right off the foam line as they say foam is home so if you you know look at the white foam on top you know you want to guide yourself towards casting into there you know i prefer to sometimes cast off to the side of it so just on the inside or just on the outside i usually go inside middle then out um that's usually a good way of kind of picking apart the water but uh you know you got this obstruction above it's taking all the bugs right down in the same spot so that whole channel right up in here is a really good area and then right up here behind this rock where it gets two little pockets of seams Got a nice one there. And he too took the Rainbow Warrior. 
There we go. Barely even. Oh, paying attention, and he took the top fly, which is our France fly. Nice fish, too. Oh. I mean, you gotta give it to the fish in this stream. They always have beautiful colors. Just absolutely dolled up. They're always nice and yellow, super orange fins red on the back and then there to go got one oh he took our top fly which is that france fly so little guy but pretty Ugh, and he's back in the stream. There we go. That's a nice fish. He just tucked up right in there. That's a real nice fish for this stream. But on two barbless hooks, it ain't gonna be easy. And no net. All right, we did get them. So, not great, but a good fish. They're probably nine, ten inches. Let's try to get him back up in the same spot he was. There you go, bud. There we go. Finally put it right in the lane that I wanted to. I kept, every time I was casting up here, I would hit the wrong lane. I was hitting the seam and I wanted it on the inside. So he's got me caught up in the weeds now. Oh, so let's get him off. He took the, the France fly. It's been a popular one today here on this what I think is a spring creek. So, a pretty fish. And there he goes, back in. And retrieved our fly. So with that fish, now that we're getting into, uh, you know, a lot of vegetation and uh, what appears to be like really a spring creek type vegetation. I guess it's either a limestone or a spring creek. And, um, it, it can be finicky to fish for sure but what i'm finding is that a lot of times with a faster current they're sitting just on the inside of the seam behind the bubble line so i had cast up like three times and kept hitting this faster white uh almost like you know real quick rapid or run in front of me so i didn't like where i was casting so finally i just instead of the roll cast uh or the water loaded cast where i kept ending up in the you know faster water i finally just put it you know kind of right in front of me and then just flipped it up and hit the pocket that i wanted and then as a result that dropped it right in that slower spot and that's where he took so nice little addition to uh the trip we're gonna probably go another couple hundred yards and then walk our way back i think we've gone a solid mile plus 
of this class a so it's gonna be time to hit the road and try somewhere else there we go that's a nice fish looks like he took the france fly too i'd put on a crest bug just because of the fact that this was you know limestone influenced i figured there had to be fish that would be eaten crest bugs but i'm yet to catch one on a crest bug even though i put one on so what a nice fish france fly takes it down okay there you go back he goes